Welcome to the Lightning Fast series with the Informatica Cloud. Today we're going to talk about the product and pricing master, moving that information from your on-premise ERP into Salesforce.com. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look at Salesforce. Right? You know, you've all, you guys have all seen Salesforce. Uh, I have a single account in here, um, and we want to make an opportunity for this account. So let's go ahead and scroll down here and make a new opportunity. And the way this works is you can give it a name, you know, Bill Blast, uh, my first deal. Um, and we can say, well, we close it uh, today or maybe uh, Monday, you know, and it's on, you know, well, let's start off with the prospects new phase. All right, so uh, this is how you create an opportunity, which means we're trying to sell Bill Blast company something. And this is the first time that the first deal of our company, I guess, in this case. All right, so once we make an opportunity, something else you can do is add products. Right, so these products, uh, you can either type them in one by one into Salesforce or you can integrate with your backend system. And that's where integration really plays a cool part here with Salesforce is that we can bring in the products and the prices um, from our backend system. And then also, as after we close the deal, so the opportunity becomes closed in one, uh, we can take that information and send it back to our ERP system um, for order processing. And then, of course, we can take that status of what the order is in the ERP system, put it back in Salesforce, and it goes on and on, right? So there's some other topics on that, but uh, today we're going to focus on um, getting an, updating these products um, automatically and then also adding new products in our ERP and have them automatically show up here in Salesforce. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, select the one-part widget, and let's go ahead and uh, put that we want one of them, uh, and we're going to do it on Monday. And this can be our one part. Right now, this, this information goes in a place called the opportunity line item, right? So once it comes out of the price book, it gets put in here so that way you have history of it. All right, now a lot of times uh, what you want to do with the, with the products, let's take a quick look at products, is I have these two different products. Um, I also have price books I can manage. So when things get into international data, different currencies, all that kind of stuff, Salesforce has a really neat way to handle all that, right? But uh, I'm going to take the simple scenario, which is, you know, I just want that product master in my ERP system. I want to always be updating Salesforce, and that's what we're going to do today. All right, so let's uh, run over here to the Informatica Cloud. Um, we're going to make three synchronization tasks. One's going to be to upsert into products, and we'll do that here right now. Uh, the next one's going to be to um, update the price book entry with any changes from my ERP system pricing and products. And then the third is going to be to insert the price book entry um, with new uh, products I added in my product master. All right, so let's go ahead and take the, the first task, which is going to be, you know, upsert products. All right, and of course the operation is upsert. And what that means is we're going to update products that are already there and we're going to insert ones that are not. So that that's kind of keeps a continuous flow of products. All right, so the six step wizard right here is what we're following. This is through the Informatica Cloud. Um, I can define step two. I can define that I want to grab data from my SQL Server ERP. Right now, I want to grab it from the products table. Right now, I only have the two products. You already saw those in my Salesforce system. Right, and let me show you them in SQL Server. Um, here's, here's my product table. Um, this is kind of technical back end, but you have product table and you have uh, two different products, the prices and then the product code. All right, so... Uh, now that we've determined here's our source, we're going to grab information from products. We're going to put it right into Salesforce. Um, and the first step is to put it into the Salesforce product two object. All right, so product two is right here. Um, and you can see the two there. So remember, we're going to upsert. So the key is um, we could only get certain products with the filter, but we're going to go ahead and map. And we're going to take all the products and upsert them by the ID of the other system. That way, if they change, we can change the same one in Salesforce. It's a pretty cool thing. So uh, you'll notice that some things uh, that we have the same or similar name are already mapped. Even though these are a little bit different, they still automatically map for you. Uh, the rest of it's just a matter of drag and drop. Uh, I can take my product ID, match it up to my external ID. And this is something that you gotta go mark in Salesforce as the external ID, but that's a, we have a video on that as well. But that's pretty simple um, to do. Now also you take your name, you know, your price is actually not in the product table, right? So I have my uh, products over here in my ERP system with the price. I don't have that in the product table. So that's why the price book entry comes into play, which is our second object we want to read or we want to insert and update to. Um, product available goes to active. 
and I think we got it. Uh, we can go ahead and put the description um, as the name right there just to keep it uh, conformant. And that's it. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we could run this on a schedule, but we're going to run them as a group, um, which is a little different. So that's pretty cool as well. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into our ERP system. All right. Uh, and let's add a new product. Um, well, let me go ahead and grab this. Uh, there you go. Custom three part widget. And we're going to make it 30 bucks. Um, we'll put them in the same computer. Is he available? Sure, he's available. And let's give him a product code of 3000. All right, so now we've added our new product uh, in our SQL Server ERP system, right? And this could be a file that you got from some mainframe. This could be a DB2 on a mainframe. This could be Oracle, MySQL, anything. Um, you know, different files. Um, you know, SQL Express, SQL Server. This could be any of those different systems. And this is what we're simulating it for. All right, so uh, now that we've updated uh, our product and pricing master over here on our ERP system I can, that I already built for you, but uh, this is where the, the key to how to do it is. So I have update price book entries and insert price book entries. All right, so let's go into update price book entries. Now the key is I want to update that price book entry in Salesforce, right? And, and I need to do that by the Salesforce ID. So I'll show you how we do that in step five. Um, but I can do my source is going to be my products and SQL server, right? And I have the third one I added. So there it is right there. Uh, my target is going to be this object called price book entry, which is the products with a price on it, right? So this is my products, but this is the price. Notice it linked into a certain price book and it's also linked into the products that I just upserted into right now. If you have international currencies and that kind of stuff, um, there's a few more steps involved. Um, it's still not too too hard, but this is the uh, the happy path I call it. What most people ask for is, hey, I just want to sync up my price book and my or my products in my ERP system with, you know, Salesforce. The same thing. All right, so uh, keep on going. We're not going to have a data filter. This would be those rules for moving data. I only want certain prices and certain price books, but I want it all. Um, going to our field mapping. Okay, so here's what we did. There's a couple tricks here. One trick is on the ID. Remember, we did an update. So on the ID, I want to come over here and I want to actually look up in that same object, right? Because we're updating, we expect it to be there, right? I'm going to look up in the price book entry. I'm going to match up the product code in my ERP system with the product code in the price book entry table. And I'm going to output the ID. So in this case, I actually get the ID to update by. Now, if, since I inserted one, this I'm going to get an error on this record, but it's not going to blow up the whole thing. It's just going to skip it and move on. Uh, and that's where the insert picks up. Now, the reason we have to do this, right? It sounds a little around the bush, but uh, the reason I do this is because price book entry in Salesforce is not configurable, right? So you, you can't add an external ID to upsert by, so you have to update and insert, right? And that's, uh, that's there, there's some reasons those folks uh, did it that way. And every system has its own little uh, ways to do it, but uh, that's where we're at. So this is how you handle it. Uh, now the rest of the stuff, uh, you know, active and deleted. I have uh, the product name I matched to the name. Um, I have which price book it is, and I kind of hard coded this because I'm only using one price book, and really most people do, unless they have the international currencies and that kind of stuff. Um, all right, now the other lookup that you might want to do is your you want your product to Salesforce ID, but over here you don't have the Salesforce ID. You have the uh, product code and the product ID. Um, so what I like to do is let's go and do a lookup uh, where we can say okay. Well, let's look up, you know, back into Salesforce, back into Salesforce product two, right? And let's try to figure out, you know, where I have this product code. Um, I want to find the right product with that same product code. And then I want to go down here and actually get the ID for that um, product two table. All right, so it's kind of a neat thing to do a look up. Uh, and it's actually pretty close to the same thing I did with price of entry, uh, but this is looking up in the product. All right, uh, so that's really it for this uh, integration, right? We could set it on a schedule, but again, we're going to do them in a group. And now that's the update. Now the insert is very similar, um, but a little bit different. So this is my third one, insert price book entries. 